Welcome on into the Rock and Refuel Recruiting Roundup. He's Jason Jewell. I'm Jordan Hamm, going over everything recruiting related in the state of Arizona. And Jason, a busy week. Two commitments. We'll start with Ralph Frias over at Safford. Yeah, the big offensive tackle committed to Arizona State. I don't think this is a big surprise. Uh, Frias is a kid that's been going to Arizona State's camps since he was a freshman. I've gone out several summers and, and seen him out there, so I think this was the offer uh, that he coveted. You look at a guy like Frias was recruited, you know, had another Power 5 offer from Minnesota uh, and was very heavily recruited at the Mountain West uh, level with UNLV and San Diego State and a few other schools uh, being in the mix for a service. The size is what jumps out with Frias first and foremost. He definitely passes the eyeball test, but what do you foresee for him over the next few years as he continues to develop in Tempe? Right, so like you said, he's six foot six and he's 300 pounds, so he has a size. He's been a four-year varsity starter at Safford High School, but again, it's Safford. It's not Chandler. It's not Hamilton. It's not big school football. So, uh, you know, there's going to be a drastic and a dramatic uh, change uh, for Frias, you know, jumping up to the Pac-12 level. So he's going to have to really work to add some strength, add some flexibility, but the tools are there for, me, for him to be a very good player. I think his ceiling is very high for the Sun Devils. Giovanni Miranda over at Saguaro saw the field a lot last year as a tight end, but this year played a lot of defense, at least at the beginning of the season. Versatile playmaker, he commits to Nevada. Yeah, so he committed to Nevada Friday, right, uh, you know, at the end of those high school football games. So it was kind of swept under the rug a little bit, very silent, but he's a guy that was heavily recruited, had 10 scholarship offers. Most of those offers came in the spring. Very versatile players, played wide receiver, played tight end, played linebacker. I think he has the frame where he could grow into a defensive end. So I think uh, Nevada is getting a very versatile and a very good pickup for, for them. A couple of offers from guys we talk plenty about. We'll start with Jake Smith over at Notre Dame. He picks up a trio of offers. Yeah, he's got to be the hottest prospect in the entire state. A 2019 player had an offer from Northwestern, from Memphis, and from Utah. Brock Purdy, we've talked about his recruitment a lot lately. He picks up an offer as well. Yeah, about time he gets another one. Montana State uh, in the big sky extends a scholarship offer, but he is one of the most under-recruited players uh, in the state of Arizona right now. We've seen what he's done. He uh, he tore up Hamilton uh, last week in, in their game, so he's just a fantastic football player. I'm glad he's finally starting to get some more recruiting attention. And now a first offer for a playmaker over at Desert Vista. Yeah, uh, Caleb Humphrey uh, ends up getting his first scholarship offer from Air Force. He's a guy I really, really was intrigued by his junior film. He's He's got, the, he's got the length and he's got the frame. He's six foot three. He's over 200 pounds. Plays some safety. I think he ends up growing into an outside linebacker, maybe even a defensive end. But, you know, gets that first offer from Air Force. And I think some more schools are going to come in and, and, and look at a player like this. And maybe he gets uh, some more offers before signing day. The high school football regular season wrapped up last week. We were both at Liberty and Centen Centennial. One of the best games that I think both of us have I either been to. Uh, but we want to do our player of the week right now, and that is Alex Bell from Sabino had a great performance against a pretty good defense. Yeah, so against Empire last week, who is a playoff team, he ends up throwing for 400 yards and he has eight touchdowns throwing. I mean, what a great week and heading into the playoffs, you know, for Sabino. As we look at the brackets for this first round from for all levels, we wanted to highlight a couple of teams that could be uh, slept on, could make a run that might be a lower tier seed. Who jumps out to you? So I'm gonna in six day. I'm gonna go with Pinnacle. It seems like everyone's talking about Chandler and Mountain Point and Desert Ridge and and Perry and Hamilton and rightfully so. But Pinnacle is the sixth seed and they started off the season three and three. But since then they've rattled off five straight wins and each of those wins well they're averaging 60 points a game. They um you know in those five wins. So uh, the Pinnacle Pine are a team that I think could make some noise in the 6A playoffs. In 5A, I really like Marana. This is a very well-coached football team. Trenton Borgay and Tion Simmons are quite the duo uh, down there in Tucson. Their opening round game is against Verado. That's going to be a tough game. If they can get past that, they presumably play Sienega, the one seed, and that was a great game at the beginning of the year. Uh, that was a game that Marana was almost able to pull out. So a couple things go their way. They could be making a deep run. So that's a team that's really has jumped out to me. Thanks so much for tuning in to the Rock and Refuel Recruiting Roundup on Sports 360 AZ.